um, a liquid nitrogen proof container um, and then you put your vacuum tube in it and pour some Don't we have nitrogen. a ladle? Okay. Huh? Oh yeah, pour nitrogen in it to keep it cold. Um, and then I usually take my samples out with an extra tube in this freezer box that I keep in the minus 80. And then I transfer the size into the thousand tube here. And then you just vortex it a few times. And in between vortexing, stick it back in the liquid nitrogen to make sure the sample stays frozen. I would probably do this maybe three or four times. And the vortex thing is what makes all their heads fall off. Alright, and then you're going to pour nitrogen just a little bit into your seeds um, and I'll freeze pretty much immediately and then pour it very quickly shake it a few times the heads should fall to the middle seed dump it out quickly um, and then you just want to make sure you do all this really fast so that the heads don't fall I usually take a paintbrush, dip it in this liquid nitrogen so that it, the heads don't stick to it. And then um, if you want to use the bodies, you can do the same thing here. The bodies are usually big enough so that they kind of just fall into the tube. And then you just really want to make sure that there's nothing left in this seed that will get in your next sample. So, yeah, should I do another one? No, I think that's great. Thank you, Eileen.